seventh grade, lesson 58. This one is on line symmetry and then functions part one. Let's review line, line of symmetry. It's very simple. It's almost what you see in a mirror. So if I were to draw the line of symmetry for this triangle, I would draw it right there. Because if you look on this side, it reflects what's on this side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, my face. If you draw a line of symmetry right here, this would reflect this, right? Okay, so, but there are actually two more lines of symmetry for this triangle. Where else could I draw a line and do the exact replication mirror? Uh, I could draw it from this corner down the middle. You see this? Yeah. This reflects this. Probably do it the other way too. Yep, you're exactly right. So this one happened to have three lines of symmetry. So if it asks you how many lines of symmetry does this triangle have, you would say three. Okay? Um, okay, let's see about another one. Let's draw a square. It has like right. a cent, doesn't it? Now they said regular quadrilateral, and what do you remember what regular means in math when they're talking about shapes? Uh, oh, like all four sides of the same. Exactly right. So they said a regular quadrilateral. I did my best. It's probably not perfect, but okay. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit. It looks more like a rectangle than a square. Okay. Now, where can I draw a line of symmetry on this one? From every corner. Right. So from here to here. Gives me the exact, yeah. Uh huh. Very good. And from here to here, and then straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and then straight across the side. Very good. So I could have done it here and it reflects. I could have done it here and it reflects. I could have done it here and it reflects. So how many lines of symmetry does this one have? Four. Four. Okay. Very good. Now. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to teach you um, a coordinate system. Do you remember the coordinate system? Uh, yes. You say three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, and then you do like two, three, one, four, right. five. It's kind of like Battleship. So if you're familiar with playing Battleship, um, the coordinate system is very easy. I'm going to draw a shape that they have here. Um, they told me to go three, zero. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then zero up and down. Okay. Um, if you do not remember this, X is this line, Y is the one going down, and the way I remember that is the Y goes straight down like that, okay? And so this is positive 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is negative 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the left side. Going down is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4, and going up is positive 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just quick, if you don't remember that, I'm just going to show that real quickly. All right, they wanted me to graph 3, 0, X, Y is always the, so X is 3, so we always go to the right 3, and then 0 is Y, so I don't go up or down, I just leave it, okay? Help me graph this next one. 2, 2. Okay, this is my X, and this is my Y. This is my X, so they're wanting me to do what? 2, 1, 2. Y is 2, so it's not a negative 2, it's a positive 2, so we're going to go up, 1, 2. Okay, we're going to XY. The next one is negative 2, 2, so this is my x and this is my y. Negative 2 on my x-axis would be 1, 2, and I'm going to hold it there. And then y is positive 2, so I'm going to go 1, 2 and put a dot there. All right, and then the last dot is negative 3, 0, and that's my x and that's my y. x is negative 3 right here, and then y is 0, so I don't go up and down. Okay, now, they draw this weird, kind of looks like a lampshade, actually. Okay, so, okay, okay. Kind of looks like a lampshade. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is just what they've drawn. Okay? Would this, if I drew a line of symmetry, would that reflect that? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay? It's an exact reflection mirror. 
Okay, but anywhere else I do it is not. Okay, so just showing you that. All right, now let's move on to the second part of the lesson. All right, which is function. And I've talked about this briefly before um, pre in previous lessons, uh, probably even last year. So they're telling me to find the missing number. This is totally different than what we just did. It's just two different lessons in one lesson, okay? So they've got in here and then out here. So it's kind of like a machine. You start with this number and you come out with this number, for example, okay? So we've got three, five, seven, and 10. Nine, 15, and 30. And they want to know what that one is. So from three to nine, you're trying to figure out the function, which is what happened to get it from three to nine. Okay? And whatever the function is, you apply it to all of them. So I think it's times three. Everybody. Okay, well, let's try it. Times three is the function. Three times three is nine. Good. Five times three is 15. Good. 10 times three is 30. So what would seven times three be? 21, right? Right. Okay? So that's how you would figure out the function, just so you know. Okay? And then they're going to ask you to do things like that, and you just have to discover the function. Okay? That's lesson 58.